Therefore, then, thou gaudy gold, hard food for Midas, I will none of thee, nor none of thee, thou pale uh, and common drudge between uh, man and man, but thou, uh, thou meagre lead, which rather threatenest than dost promise aught, thy paleness moves me more than eloquence. And here choose I, joy be the consequence. How all the other passions fleet to air as doubtful thoughts and rash embrace, despair and shuddering fear and green-eyed jealousy. Oh, love, be moderate. Allay thy ecstasy and measure rain thy joy. Scant this excess I feel. Too much thy blessing make it less. For fear I suffer it. What find I here? Oh, I <laughs> Fair Porsche's counterfeit! <laughs> God hath come so near creation. Move these eyes, or uh, whether riding on the balls of mine seem they in motion. <laughs> Yet, look how far the substance of my praise doth wrong this shadow in underprising it. So far, this shadow doth limp behind the substance. <laughs> uh, here's the continent and summary of my fortune. Uh, you that choose not by the view, chance as fair and choose as true. Since this fortune falls to you, be content and seek no new. If you be well pleased with this, and hold your fortune for your bliss, turn you where your lady is, and claim her with a loving kiss. <laughs> <laughs> a gentle scroll. <laughs> Fair lady, by your leave, I come by note to give and to receive. in a prize, who thinks he hath done well in people's eyes, hearing applause and universal shout, giddy in spirit, still gazing in a doubt whether those peals of praise be his or no, so uh, thrice fair lady stand I, even so, as doubtful whether what I see be true, until confirmed, signed, ratified by you. You see me, Lord Bassanio, where I stand, such as I am. Though for myself alone I would not be ambitious in my wish to wish myself much better, yet for you I would be trebled twenty times myself, a thousand times more fair, ten thousand times more rich, that only to stand high in your account I might in virtues, beauties, livings, friends exceed account. But the full sum of me is sum of nothing, which determined gross is an unlessoned girl, unschooled, unpractised, happy in this. She is not yet so old, but she may learn. Happier than this, she is not bred so dull, but she can learn. Happiest of all is that her gentle spirit commits itself to yours to be directed as from her lord, her governor, her king, <laughs> myself, and what is mine to you and yours is now converted. But now I was the lord of this fair mansion, master of my servants, queen, o'er myself and even now, but now this house, these servants and this same myself are yours, my lord. <laughs> 